Once upon a time in a suburban neighborhood, a family chose a greener lifestyle. This family was one of 90% of people who turn off the lights when they're not needed, and 78% of families doing about the same with electronics. This family thought there might be a lot more opportunities to live green. Like most suburban households, each family member generates approximately 4.39 pounds of trash and up to 56 tons of trash every year. Due to advancements in technology and the short life of electronic devices, high numbers of electronics that are disposed of as e-waste each year. While various reports estimate that electronic waste is less than 4% of total solid waste stream in the United States, electronic waste is growing two to three times faster than any other waste stream. In 1998, of the 20 million computers taken out of service, only 2.3 million, slightly more than 10%, were recycled or e-cycled, and most of those were from large businesses and institutions. In 2009, a U.S. Environmental Protection Agency report estimated that roughly 400,000 tons of e-waste is sent to recyclers every year. Up to 80% of the materials, which are sorted for recycling, end up in operations in China, India, Southeast Asia, and West Africa, where it is disassembled and burned or dumped. Here's some of the easy and simple things that you can do to help. 1. Recycle computers. 2. Recycle ink cartridges and use recycled ink. 3. Recycle mobile phones. 4. Recycle televisions. So why use recycled ink? Electronic products are made from valuable resources and highly engineered materials, including metals, plastics, and glass, all of which require energy to mine and manufacture. Reusing and recycling consumer electronics conserves our natural resources and avoids air and water pollution, as well as greenhouse gas emissions that are caused by manufacturing virgin materials. We throw out about 130,000 computers every day in the United States, as well as 100 million cell phones annually. In 2005 alone, almost 2 million tons of electronic waste was landfilled. While toxic materials comprise only a small amount of this volume, it doesn't take much lead or mercury to contaminate an area's soil or water supply. Lead, cadmium, mercury, chromium, polyvinyl chlorides, all of these materials have known toxicological effects that range from brain damage to kidney disease to mutations and cancers. In the U.S., more than 13 cartridges are disposed of every second, totaling an estimated 375 million each year. The total weight of these cartridges is equivalent to 67,612 Ford Explorers or 112,463 Volkswagen Beetles. Can we cycle?